Hey folks, Nintendo here. Today we're talking about tips to spot players and Daisy. Getting the jump on other survivors is half the battle. First off, there are a few settings in the game that will make things easier for you. You want to go in your video settings and put it on overall quality extreme. After that, you can turn down some settings, but the extreme preset setting will give you the best view distance to spot players with. Play around with the settings and see what works for you you want a balance between visibility and performance. There are some controls that you want to make full use of. The eye zoom button will allow your character to focus into the distance and see further. Spot players at a distance and snipe them out. You want to bind this to a key that you're comfortable using, especially while moving. The same goes for the free look button. Free look is essential to being aware of your surroundings. Bind free look to a comfortable button and use it periodically while you're traveling around the map to look behind you and on your sides. This will greatly increase your situational awareness and ability to spot players. Just be aware, some backpacks like the mountain backpack will block some of your view when looking behind. Here are some habits that you should get into the routine of using. When approaching a new town, try to see if there's a hillside you can run up to get a better look from. Having the high ground will allow you to spot players better and better prepare yourself for entering a town. Zoom into windows, open doors, check for signs of player activity in town. I also suggest making it a habit to avoid simply running straight down a road and instead stick to the tree line when possible. You might not be the only player out there with this idea, but it will give you at least some cover and a tree to hide behind. Running through the forest can give you a chance to spot more careless players, jogging down the road, and plan an ambush on them. Being mindful of evidence you come upon can give you clues that players are nearby. Use these clues to become aware of danger, and you may be able to spot players nearby or down the street in town. Some of these clues you may encounter are trash loot that players may have ditched, such as paper from looted ammo boxes, locked doors where players may have been sorting loot. Players also often lock doors when they're making a fire. Ash in a fireplace means players likely have used this fireplace since the last server reset. A still smoking fireplace coming from a chimney in town is a safe bet that players are still inside. Try to get an angle that will allow you to view the inside of the building through a window. Some more obvious signs are zombie aggro not directed at you. Also, dead zombies in town is a giveaway that players are nearby because typically dead zombies will despawn in about five minutes. Using these bits of evidence can better prepare you to switch from loot goblin mode to shoot some fools mode. Along with visual evidence, you'll want to listen for audio cues. Naturally, a gunshot nearby is going to raise your awareness but also sounds such as doors closing, footsteps, and the sounds of a player sneezing should set off alarms in your head. If you think you heard something in Daisy, you usually did, and it's better to act on this instinct than to ignore it. Other audio to listen for are heli crashes in the distance, even if you're not interested in going through the trouble of clearing the zombies out of the heli crash yourself, other players might be up to the task, and it's a good opportunity for you to take them out while they're vulnerable. Another trick to audio is if you hear wolves howling in the distance, and then the wolves are not coming for you, this could be a sign another player is nearby, and the wolves are aggroed on them instead of you. There is equipment that may help you spot players. Binoculars will really help especially viewing towns from a distance before entering them. Binoculars take up a lot of inventory space though, and you may want to swap for an item like a rangefinder if you find one. Rangefinders take up less space and are a great way to scope out an area. Naturally, if you have a battery, you can rangefind with it as well. You can also use scopes, such as a hunting scope in your hand to zoom in with. Of course, optics when attached to your weapon will be most ideal. For daisy servers that do have a dark night, you'll want to keep an eye out for night vision to gain a huge advantage when spawning players at night. 
Typically, night vision goggles spawn in high tier loot zones, but you may be able to find night vision scopes in lower tiers, but again, they often take up a lot of inventory space. There are a few tricks that you can employ with varying amounts of success. Periodically laying traps such as tripwire with an explosive, flashbang, or smoke can be used to alert you of a player's presence. Oftentimes, I want to hold on to my grenades, but I can spare smoke to use for a trap. Place a smoke trap in a popular area, then as you leave town and travel into the distance, take one more look behind you. If you see a smoke, then someone was on your trail and you can spot them. For more gutsy players that want action now, you can use bait shots to lure players. Basically, this is firing your weapon and making a whole bunch of noise in hopes that another player or team is looking to third party the action. After making a bunch of noise, wait and see if other players arrive, then take them out. If you have a lot of patience, you could even leave a backpack on the road or another item of value. Oftentimes players will just get too curious and they'll want to approach the bag to check it out. Lastly, for Dark Knight servers, you can play some spawn town games such as leaving a light in the road and waiting for someone to investigate, then blast them when they approach. Let me know in the comments if you have any other tricks for spotting players. Check out the video on the left and take your game knowledge to the next level. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.